So I was doing some sort of bored, just looking at maps, because weirdos like me tend to do that when they're bored, and I was looking at some train timetables, and I found for Ardwick that there actually is an afternoon service. This really surprised me, because I thought that the only service to Ardwick was the 0716 in the morning. At least that was the case a couple of months ago. But I looked recently, and there was an afternoon one as well. So, like... Huh? I've still not found an explanation for this myself, but anyway, now that Ardwick is a lot easier to take off than I thought it was, I may as well go and do that today. Now, there is a slight issue in the fact that it is about 12 o'clock at the moment, and the evening service isn't until almost 5 o'clock. So I've got to find some stuff to do in the meantime. And I figured, why don't I visit some of the stations on the Hatfield line? Because why not? It's something to do. So I'm waiting for the first train to Hatfield now, and we'll hop on it, and we'll get going. Well, time for 323's galore today. As far as I know, they're the only trains that run on this line. So I have got a vague plan of what I'm doing, uh, in the sense that I know what order I'm doing the stations in. I don't know exactly the times though, or the trains I'm getting exactly, so there's some sort of randomness to it. So I chose this line in particular because the morning service to Ardwick is from a Hadfield service, so, you know, like the service originates from Hadfield, so I guess it can technically be a station on this line, if that makes sense. Anyway, we're at Ashbury's station at the moment, just leaving now. <laughs> and yeah, the first station we're going to go to is Godly. It's funny how uh, the 323s, as of when I'm filming this, are about to have a farewell tour with West Midlands Railway. Even though... It's a full farewell tour, even though they're just coming up north. Anyway, I'm getting sidetracked. We're at Godley now, and judging by the look of it, I would assume it was either opened or refurbished in the 1980s. Let me see. Yep. <laughs> 1986, of course. Yeah, they just sort of... The 80s stations just have this sort of look to them, with the sort of, like, very thin platforms with the sort of metal grating at the side. So, let's make our way to the other side. It's a half-hourly service down this line, which is actually quite nice. Um, got about 15 minutes until the train the other way. We're just sort of backing and forthing until eventually we get to the end at Hadfield. Destinations from here. Ardwick. Train few. Yeah, few being one train in the early morning. <laughs> Much as I kind of rant about it on the channel, I've actually kind of missed this. Like, you know, small, very quiet stations up north. It's nice. It's definitely got a nice charm to it. That isn't Celia. That's the weird text-to-speech voice. The next station stop is Newton for Hyde. Indeed it is. And that's where we'll be going next. Find the gap between the train and the platform. Alright, Newton for Hyde. Don't have as long at this station. Only about uh, nine or so minutes. So, can't really do as much looking around here. I was just in that foyer where the ticket office is, and I saw that there was a cancelled train later, the 1417. I'm just going to make sure if that messes me up or not. Okay, I don't believe it does mess me up, provided I make all my connections I need. Um, I finish visiting all the stations to Hadfield before I get affected by the cancelled train. I think it's literally, the train I need to get back into Piccadilly is the train before the cancelled one. So I think I got a bit lucky there. Newton for Hyde, I think, is a station that could look a lot nicer if it was given a little TLC. Just that. I think it would be quite nice. Looks like somebody accidentally left the text as a line left instead of centre. <laughs> the next station up is Broad Bottom. Nice name. After being in the sort of southeast area and having been on a few 465s at this point, 
and you know 165s as well. I feel like 323s and networkers feel quite similar. I don't know if they're actually related, but they they have a similar feel to them. Well then, broad bottom. Only got about four minutes here, unfortunately, because it's a fairly quick turnaround. Would love to stay longer, but I don't fancy getting caught out by the cancelled services. This place definitely does look quite nice. Would like to come back here in the future and give it an actual proper explore and not give it four minutes on the platform. So this is actually the last station on the line, I mean, like, eastward, to, that's actually still in Greater Manchester. Dinting, Glossop and Hadfield are in not Greater Manchester, in Derbyshire, I'm pretty sure. Back one stop up the line again to Hattersley. So Hattersley Station opened in 1978, and after a little bit of Wikipedia searching, essentially both Hattersley and Godley stations replaced Godley East Station, which itself closed in 1986. So this is actually going to be our longest wait of uh, around 20 minutes at this station for the next train to go the other way. We're going to take it to Glossop for, uh, well, with the exception of Ardwick later, we've now done all the stations we're doing within Greater Manchester. Dinting, Glossop and Hadfield are actually on the Greater Manchester Day Ranger, despite being in Derbyshire, which I'm assuming is because there are only three stations that, you know, you can't go anywhere else from them other than just Greater Manchester, so it would be a bit pointless having them not on the Manchester Day Ranger. So, yeah. I mean, the line did used to go further east after Hadfield. It was the, uh, this is the surviving section of the Woodhead line, went all the way to like Penniston and Sheffield, but now uh, you have the famous closed Woodhead Tunnel after it closed permanently in the 1980s. This electrification was also put in place in 1954, which is actually quite old as far as overhead electrification goes in this country. We just went over a viaduct with some very, very cool views. And of course, in typical fashion, the moment I hit record, we go behind a row of trees. Every damn time. That's better, there we go. These views are so much better when you don't, like, research beforehand and it all comes as a complete surprise. It's like, wow, we're entering the uh, very weird sort of two-pronged fork-looking bit of railway that's around here now <laughs> for Glossop and Hadfield. So, next station we're getting out at is Glossop. So yeah, Glossop Station, this is a very nice place. Big fan of this station. Oh my word, look at this presumably old ticket window. It is so small and cute, it's amazing. Never actually been to Glossop before, but the area out here does seem really quite nice, using my 15 minutes I have here to my advantage. Yeah, Glossop looks really nice, quite impressed, so. We're now going to go back up to Dinting. For some reason, I thought that Dinting would be like a sort of George Mus Junction situation where it gets called out twice, but no, it only gets called out once. It's Dinting, Glossop, then Hadfield. Right then, well, yes, this is Glossop. So we're going to go back to Dinting, then change to Dinting, get a train to Hadfield, and then that'll be all of my, uh, well, time killed for waiting for Ardwick to be a thing. If you spot anything worrying, please text BTP on 61016. That's a new line. Not heard that one before. So yes, Dinting Station. I'm assuming this is the platform that's used 99% of the time. There's a disused one here with a very 
very derelict old station building. So this is platform two, but I believe here there is the much lesser used platform one of Dinting, which is used for the Glossop terminators. I think the last train of the day terminates at Glossop instead of Hadfield. So it goes Dinting, this platform up to Hadfield, then reverses to Glossop and terminates there. And that's the only time platform one ever gets used. Anyway, wish I had more time to talk, but the next train to Hadfield is already here. I'm assuming it was just waiting at some points for this train to show up. Because that platform at Dinting is so curved, there's such a large gap between the train and the platform, particularly with these trains that have got, you know, doors in the middle of the carriages as opposed to the end. Surely it would be like a lot safer to go to Hadfield, reverse and terminate at Glossop for all of the trains, because then you can use the much straighter platform one. Dinting Platform 1 is definitely one for the uh, rare track bashers. As far as I'm aware, that's pretty much the only time you can actually get on that special curve. Okay, well here comes the end of the line. Or, well, the new end of the line before the Woodhead Tunnel closed. Anyway, Hadfield. Just gonna step on the platform, tick it off. But uh, yeah, that's kind of it. I don't really have much time. It's about a two minute turnaround here, so I'm gonna have to quite quickly get back on. But yes, after Hadfield, the line did used to continue eastward um, towards Penniston and Sheffield via Woodhead through the, the now closed Woodhead Tunnel. It was closed to passengers in 1970 and then closed completely in 1981. You can actually walk or cycle the disused line um, from, I think, between Hadfield Station and the Woodhead Tunnel. Because the Woodhead Tunnel is actually all blocked off. Um, it's part of the Transpennine Trail, I believe. So, yeah, I've visited every other station I've needed now on the Hadfield line. But we've still not got Hardwick yet. So what's going to feel like an instantaneous edit for you is going to be around two and a half hours for me in real life. So, I will uh, see you there. And welcome to Ardwick. This station is in a very shoddy area. <laughs> new footbridge at Ardwick Station. Ardwick Station will be temporarily closed as we install a new footbridge. Well, it looks like they've already done it. Don't know why that sign's still up. Ardwick has to probably be one of the most unique stations I've ever been to. This is so weird. So yes, now we get the 1657 to Marple, which I hope is still running. I was gonna get a bus here, but uh, unbeknownst to me, the 219 is not exactly known for being a reliable bus route. Well, according to real-time trains, it's not cancelled. Still due to call it Ardwick. We can hope. So I'm very confused, because I thought Ardwick only got one train a day, the 0716 to Manchester Piccadilly. But I've heard people saying that this afternoon service has always been a thing. And that, like, like a year or two ago, or even a few months ago, they were getting the afternoon service. So... But, but I remember looking at real-time trains, like, a couple of months ago, and there was no afternoon service. It was only the morning one. So, I... I'm baffled. I, I have no idea anymore. <laughs> but, hey, I suppose that doesn't matter now, because I think our service is going to get here in a couple of minutes' time. All right, well, it has left Piccadilly. That's a good sign. We should be seeing it any moment now. Thanks. Sorry. All right, we did it. We got Oddwick, but now I'm going to have to run to the other side because the train going back the other way that I want to get leaves only one minute after it gets to Ashbury's. Okay, all good. We made it. That's a relief. <laughs> that was actually quite scary because the doors didn't open for like 30 seconds when the train got in. I thought the guard just hadn't seen me or was going to like assume no one was there and drive off. But thankfully the doors had opened, that was good. So 
So yeah, we got Ardwick, yay! Ardwick station complete. So I think that's all the tricky stations in Manchester I've done now. Or at least I've been to anyway. So yeah, thank you for watching. I apologize for making you wait until the end to watch uh, Ardwick station, but oh well. Goodbye. And of course, a huge shout out to all my patrons and channel members listed on screen now. And a warm welcome to my new standard premium member, Dominic. Thank you for supporting the channel.